That's a big truck crane. That crane's huge. I've never sat in a crane before. That's my hook right there. This is a sandy. Based on all the operators at work, I think I could just sit in here and nap all day. Gotta take the cowboy hat off over run it. Grandstand. He's driving that 299. It's right over there. But now it looks like Tyler has swapped over. He's in front of me here in the 440. He was in the 299. Brian's driving that. Now you're getting set up over here. Tyler, one of those big changes on this are the seat mounted controls. Tell us a little bit about why that's so important for you. Yeah, so what if I told you that I can move everything sitting right here? You know, if I'm digging a set, I come in here, dig my set, oh, now I, now I need to move. Well, before, you know, I had to turn around, do all that good stuff. But now, I enable a button here on the seat, hit my trigger, lift up my front bucket, got total control of it. And now I go back to my back bucket, move forward, move what direction I need to go, and I can put this thing back on the ground. And now I'm ready to go. It's, it's, it's pretty handy. That's, that's phenomenal. That's I mean, that's a time saver in a big way. So I know that also has a lot of operator control modes. What do you like about that as far as your preferences go? Yeah, so every operator is different. You know, some, some guys like a really fast response. Some guys like a little bit slower. Lower. I personally, I like it about right in the middle, and that's and that's what's great about this because you can change it to whatever fits your style, and that's going to make your operator more comfortable, more efficient. Productivity is going to go up, and it, it's it's just a game changer. I feel. And one of the other things this this thing's got in it is it's got the it's got an automatic transmission, so you never fall never have to fumble around to figure out what gear you need to get in. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty great. Big time saver right there. Now, the 150 was definitely one of my favorite machines. I got to see up close there at the training center in Edwards, Illinois. Josh, you're in that. Tell me about some of the technology that's in that bad boy. <laughs> hey, Riley, yeah, I'll definitely talk about the technology, but I just want to touch base real quick again about the Motor Grader product line from Caterpillar with our, our choice of options, right? So you'll notice the 150 here, completely joystick controlled. Uh, but we also have steering wheel and levers for those operators prefer that. Um, another thing what you've been waiting for is a better understanding of the CAT 3D with grade. You'll notice I have receiver on top of the cab, radio on top of the cab, and also another receiver on the mainframe. Now the, the beauty of this is I have all of the ability and functionality that this machine is designed to do. So with that, the machine knows if I'm leaning the wheels left or right, it knows if I have the drawbar in the center, left or right. It knows if I have the moldboard pitched forward or all the way backward. Uh, it knows everything. So the nice thing is this thing is as accurate, and I'm almost going to say as good as the dual mask machine. So that's a, a great just a, a great addition because now myself as the operator, I don't have to worry about masks on top of the mold. So we're never gonna get rid of the great chicken. Okay? Yeah.
They got a cat show going on next door. Put do the move some dirt. So for manager of the yard goes. That's why I didn't bought one of those. That has my father wants one. That has a skill to find too. That's new. So here on the road is it's kind of the idea to get used to the steering, a little bit of the controls, you can play with that kind of crude ball if you want. If you want to go get in the dirt, as soon as we cruise down the road, there's some areas off to the left where we can get into some get some dirt and then try some ditch and some grape. If he comes back over here, I'll try and smack the glass.
it can come off and it's not your way. Yeah. So you can dig with that bucket. It'd be no different than ours. It's basically a main pen. It's just not a main pen. Because it stays in the same location as the other one. 